All right, now you're ready to look at Glogster. First off, uh, right now I've pulled up a sample Glogster un located under Categories. And get a chance for you to kind of look at one that's been done. Notice it's a background picture for the for the wall behind. And you have a series of pictures, and you also have a series of clips from differing. If you click on a picture, it will enlarge, so if you were presenting that, that'd be something you could do to accent the stuff that you're talking about. You can also input video, so as a way to bring additional things in. A lot of them are coming from YouTube or other sources on the net. But you get an idea. This. So it's a combination of short statements, pictures, audio, and video into a poster setting that can be put online for people to see. Okay, so let's actually make a Glog now. I'm going to go back to my dashboard, which is kind of like your home page inside of Glogster. Okay, up in the middle, create new Glog. Now when it initially opens up at the top, there's a place for you to type in, and I'm just going to put sample. As you page down, you see there's already some information that's located there. It's got kind of a holiday theme. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that, and I'm just going to start from scratch. I always begin down by clicking on the wall, and then picking on a background that I think will pertain to what I'm doing today. And I'm going to pick this cloudy theme. Okay. So now I have a background with which to kind of put my story behind. The next thing I'm going to do is click on text. Now you can incorporate a theme kind of throughout the th or you can put like the one we just saw as the example, uh, met many different types. So don't get caught up too much in uh, to just kind of having a little fun trying to make some different things. Now I clicked on one here. Let's kind of see. That's a little crazy, so I think we're going to back out of that. And we'll go with a little post-it. Now when you initially click on it, there's a little button up here to edit that allows you to go inside. Again, you'll have to delete what's starting out to be there, and then you can go ahead and type. and you continue on and write more. When you're done you hit the OK. Now you can orientate it by the corners and in the middles where these little swirls are you can actually turn it. So if you want to have things on an angle. Okay. Now you can duplicate these by hitting the duplicate button. And you can place these around images now. You can pick images from a couple of different places. First off, you can upload them right from your own information. And I'm going to take three here that I've found about PB and J. And you can either upload them or you can literally just grab them and bring them right in yourself. The other option is to link you can copy the URL, which is the www, and you can actually place that in there and it will instantly link and bring it in for you. Here again, you can edit these by sizing them and you can twirl them and do what you want there. Okay, you do have the same ability to create a video and to bring in sound. You can also click into graphics and you can bring in different things to try to make your presentation a little bit more interesting. And basically, once you've filled up your area with all the pertinent information, you've finished your Glog. Click Save. Now it's going to ask you where you want to save it, if you have any categories you want to put it in. Um, at this time, you really don't need to do that. And we're still definitely in the unfinished stage. And go ahead and hit Save. And now you've made your first Glog.